This is the schedule for the physics labs. And we're going to take a look at how to take quizzes. Okay, so this sample just happens to be spring 2012. Okay, so there's, there's a lab one schedule right here. And that's these experiments. For second semester, the second semester has these experiments here. So let's say I'm in a um, 2030 class or 2321. I'm going to log in to take these quizzes. So I'm going to go into measurements. And here's some information about measurements. And it looks like this is there's a link to a PDF. This will change each semester just depending on if there's something new or old or whatever. There's There happens to be a YouTube video for this one, um, a lecture. And then there's some images. And then down here, there's a Q&A where a student has asked a question. And then I, um, Douglas, have responded to the student. Pardon me. Right here are quiz links. See, there's the pre-lab quiz. I'm in 2030 section 7. So none of these other links will work for me. I want to make sure that I'm just going into this link for the pre-lab. And for the post-lab, which I do after the experiment, the pre-lab is due before the experiment. The post-lab, here's 203007. That's my section, so I'm going to go into there. If you're in 2321 section 4, here's your post-lab link, and here's your pre-lab link. So the pre-lab links are per class and section, and so are the post-lab links. So if I click on 203007, I'll see that um, yeah, there's a bunch of names that I could have used that, oh, here's class number 203007. Measurements, that's the quiz I want. Here's the time that I just tried to get into this screen. But it says the deadline is Thursday, January 26th at 12 p.m. Well, 12 p.m. is my class start time. Oh, the current time is beyond the deadline. Oh, no, I missed the first quiz. So I'm going to have to go back and we'll look at 203007. And here we have deadline Wednesday, February 1st, 12 o'clock. Oh, good. So I can take this quiz. Normally, these will be due, these quizzes, at the time and day of the week that you have your lab. Now, my user ID, and it says it's case sensitive, okay, and it's all uppercase. And then the passcode. Well, I don't have these yet. So I'm going to visit this link. Another way to get to that link would be to go right here, get user ID on the lab website. Now, once I'm here, it says enter your pre assigned class number and user ID and then click create passcode. So my class number is 203007. My user ID, there's instructions up here. I want to use all caps so I'm going to turn on my caps lock and my name is Diego Gonzalez. So I'm going to type in Gonzalez and this says eight characters of my last name. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, well, that's how many characters I have. And then it says the first initial of your first name. So Diego. So I'm going to do that. And then the last four of your 900 number. Or your, excuse me, your student ID number. And I just created a sample student named Diego Gonzalez, and I um, put him in the roster, and <laughs> I think I remembered his 900 number. I mean, his student ID number. Excuse me, I keep saying that. Metro has 900 numbers. UCD, UC Denver has um, uh, student ID numbers that have various beginnings. So it's last name, first initial, last four of student ID number, and then create passcode. Hey, I got it. So, um, what would you rather be called? Well, just Diego's fine. Let me turn off caps lock now. 
the instructor doesn't need to call me Javier. And then you know what? I have another number that I prefer than the one that was given there. Diego H. Gonzalez at ucdenver.edu. Yeah, that, that's a good email address, but because I'm doing this sample, I'm going to... You use my actual email, okay? I'm really Douglas, but I'm just testing this as I'm Diego. And a major. Oh, definitely physics. Yep, yep. If you're not a physics major, you should probably um, change to be a physics major. And here's pay code. So I want to paste in um, my pay code that I got from my lab manual. That's in the lab manual, and um, it's it's before the first experiment. And sometimes, um, if we've run out of stock, occasionally uh, we print a bunch of lab manuals in the bookstore without the pay code. In which case, you have to come to the physics department with your receipt, and we'll give you a pay code. All right. And so now I'm going to input my six-digit password. There we go. And security question. What is up? the sky. That'll just help me retrieve my uh, password if I've forgotten. And store passcode. And there it is. So now I see that my instructor is Will McBrayer. And here's a link to the Physics Lab website. Um, for this semester, that's going to that's gonna change, I believe, in summer um, 20, 2012. And it says that it sent me an email. So I'm all done, which means that I can go back here and get into the quiz. Each experiment has quizzes. If I go to data and graphs, over here are the pre-lab quizzes. And again, my class and section are here. Maybe your class and section are three. Or maybe it's 23, 21, section two. So these are the post-labs. And on the left-hand side are the pre-labs but I'm interested in the first quiz that I can take because I, I got my manual late or I registered late or something. But the first one I can do is the post lab quiz, 2030 section 7. So now I want to do um, all caps, Gonzales D5296. Hope I remembered that. Um, Type in my all caps, last name, first initial, last four of student number, and then my six digit password that I just created. And say begin, and there it is. So now I can answer all the questions, and then down at the bottom, have you answered all the questions? Yes, which is not true, but this keeps you from accidentally submitting the quiz. When I hit submit, it said, oh no. I missed them all. And it tells me which ones I missed. And then there's an, a button that I can take attempt two out of two. And then it says, um, if there were any essays, the grade above is not your final grade. Your instructor will assess any essays after the assignment is due. Oh, okay. So maybe I'll get some points for the essays. Oh, wait, I didn't answer those. And it says that it sent me an email for the receipt. Now, if I hit finish, it'll just go to the home page for physics lab. If I hit take attempt two, it'll go back to the login screen. I could actually just close my browser now because I'm done. If I see this screen, then everything's recorded in the system and an email receipt has been sent to me. Be very careful. You may click back in your browser and change some answers. But when you submit the quiz that way, the score will not be correct. I have to go back to the login screen and start fresh each time. Well, I hope that helped you figure out how to get into the quiz system. Remember that you go into the particular experiment for your class, Lab 2, second semester on the right-hand side, Lab 1 on the left. Once you're in one of those 
experiments. There are pre-lab links listed first, again by class and section number, and then secondly are post-lab links by class and section number. So it's only one link in this whole set for pre-labs that belongs to your class, and one link in the post-labs that belongs to your class. Have a grand day.